morning, my name is Babel Bart and today I want to show you uh, a drawing, a painting technique that I have developed with the uh, gelatos from the uh, company Design Memory Craft, uh, as known as Faber Castell. And um, my goal is to show you techniques um, that can help anyone who cannot draw to make his own paintings or artwork. So um, my first video for the uh, the guest design team of Fall Winter 2014 um, worked with uh, paper napkins and I showed you how you can transfer any image or text you want on a canvas or any surface you like. And today I want to show you an easy and quick uh, technique with the, with the gelatos. Um, <laughs> In, uh, in any color you like. I use for the, for the basic technique I show you with the black. Um, the first step is um, find any image you want to transfer. That can be an image of your loved ones uh, like I will use in the tutorial or for example just an image from, uh, from a prospect uh, with anything you want and you want uh, for example I could I could transfer this lady onto my canvas but what I want to show you today is how I can transfer a picture of my daughter that I have made several years ago to this canvas so the first thing um, I have to do is to print my uh, my image on the paper it is not important how good the quality is it's just a, a low quality and the paper is cheap but you need the gelato pen. So turn the paper around um, on the back and what I do is I put it on a, on a window. Ah, you can maybe you can see it here. Um, the window is in front of me. I put it onto the window and cover my image from the back with the gelato completely. Okay, like that. Because I cannot see my image, I will put it to the window and come back later. Now here's my finished backing of the of the image. And well yeah, I can rub it if I have some scraps. So okay. And what I do now is to cut my image approximately half an inch half an inch uh, from the, the image I want to transfer okay and then I choose a place for my for my picture in the center or somewhere off To fix my image on the canvas and to prevent it from uh, moving around when I work with it I use a sticky tape. I put this tape on, uh, on a piece of cloth first to make it less sticky and that makes it easier to tear off when I'm done. Now use a ball pen to trace all the, the lines of your image you want to see in your drawing. Decide with, uh, which uh, details uh, of the image you want to see in your drawing later. You do not have to trace too many details, um, just trace the, the rough outlines and the details you need like eyes, lips, the nose, the shape of the face. You can add any more details later. During the process you can always check if you are pleased with your work. Continue tracing until you have copied all the details you want. You will get a perfect copy of your image even without being able to draw. 
for this trace, uh, for this copy, I have used the black gelato, but you can use any gelato color you like. Um, the advantage is uh, by using another color, you can um, you can prepare your your drawing, your painting, for the colors you want to add to your painting. You may recognize that the tracing will look different on different surfaces. After you have copied your image, you can pull off your, your sheet, your paper, and um, to, to make my, my lines more soft, I can use water to solve the gelato lines a bit. you can play with your sketch as you wish. I have used um, the mix and match watercolor pencils from Faber-Castell for my, for my little notebook, for my art book and for sure I have used gelatos, a lot of gelatos and here I use the, the big brush pen for the Stampus big brush pen for adding some background effects. For full blending, I have used uh, wet wipes to uh, to blend the gelato and the gelato colors, uh, and um, with uh, the with the paint, with the gelato paint, the wet wipe, I have added some texture and shading to the background. 